All right, hello and welcome back to the channel. For this installment, I thought we'd discuss some basic stage terms. Whether you're an aspiring musician, actor, tech, or stagehand, these are terms that you'll be expected to know and use on a professional stage. There's also an alphabet soup of abbreviations that you'll see on cases, paperwork, set pieces, amplifiers, and so on. This should help to demystify those as well. If you've ever wondered, which side is stage right? This video should be for you. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel, and let's get started. Probably the most frequently used terms on stage are stage right and stage left. The simple way to learn this is to visualize yourself on stage facing the audience. To your right is stage right. To your left is stage left. The key here is to remember of thinking of yourself on stage facing the audience. Stage right and stage left are terms that reference the performer's perspective on stage when they're facing the audience. The next two frequently used terms are upstage and downstage. Downstage is what you might want to call the front of the stage. Downstage is the area of the stage closest to the audience. Upstage would be just the opposite of that. You might be tempted to call that the back of the stage, but backstage means something entirely different. Backstage is where the green room is, the dressing rooms, equipment storage, and so forth. Backstage is not part of the performance area and not visible to the crowd. In fact, it might not even be physically part of the stage itself at all. So the performance area of the stage has upstage and downstage. This brings us to a fairly obvious term, center stage. Center stage is exactly what it sounds like, the center area of the stage. You might sometimes hear the term mid-stage. Usually that will be in conjunction with something like an overhead lighting truss, like a mid-stage truss. Generally, center stage and mid-stage are interchangeable terms for the same area of the stage. Center stage is a far more common term, though. Once you learn these terms, you can begin to combine them to indicate more specific areas of the stage. So by that, I mean terms like downstage center, downstage right, downstage left, upstage center, upstage right, center stage right, and so on. Once you understand that concept, which is pretty simple since it just builds on the basic versions of those terms, then you can start to understand the abbreviations that we're going to talk about now. You could probably call these abbreviations a form of shorthand. They're used to mark cases, amps, set pieces, etc. to mark where they're supposed to go to their placement on stage. Here are some examples. US is upstage. CS is center stage. DS is downstage. It's pretty obvious as you can see here. And then there are the three letter abbreviations, which are even more specific, but just as simple to follow once you understand the terms we've already talked about. DSR is downstage right. DSC is downstage center. DSL is downstage left. It just goes on like this. And like I said, you might see mid-stage in some cases in place of center stage. If you see an M, like in MSR, it's just mid-stage right. Same position as center stage right. So if we were to take a look at a real stage to put this information into some kind of real-life context, it would look like this. Okay, beyond this, there's one other three-letter code you're likely to see, and that is F-O-H. F-O-H stands for front of house. On screen is the technical description of front of house. It's essentially telling you it's the audience areas of the venue. That said, for all intents and purposes, especially for concert and touring shows, front of house is going to refer to the area where the audio and lighting consoles, and these days video, will be set up. In a concert setup, if you're directed to take a case to front of house, this is the area where you should take it. There are two other basic terms that you might hear frequently, and those are on stage and off stage. Fortunately, those are exactly what they sound like. On stage means an area on the stage, and off stage means an area off the stage. <laughs> so plenty simple. Okay, so that about wraps up this video. If you can learn these terms, let these terms be second nature for when you're taking directions or even giving directions, it will make show flow go much better for everyone. All right, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. 